Yeah, yeah, cold this morning, comfortable this afternoon, then going into tomorrow, big changes. Our next yeah. cold front moves in. This will bring in widespread showers and thunderstorms tomorrow morning and early afternoon, and then that threat of severe weather. Let's get you out the door this morning with a look at our Friday forecast. 47 degrees is the current temperature in Ocala. We are at 62 degrees, though, in Melbourne. We're at 49 degrees in Orlando, a couple of 50s out in Osceola County. So we are a little bit warmer compared to this time yesterday along our beaches just because of that onshore wind but everyone else is much cooler than this time yesterday. We have mostly clear conditions this morning, not expecting a lot of cloud cover this morning or this afternoon. So we'll have a mix of sun and clouds and today stays dry. Our temperatures with an easterly wind picking up to around 10 to 15 miles per hour will reach the upper 60s to low 70s. Looking ahead to tomorrow then, we have our next cold front working through. That will bring in scattered rainfall and a couple of thunderstorms. By Saturday evening, the rain and storms dive south. Look at what happens on Sunday though. As our front moves south, it'll bring in some isolated showers into our southern locations for the afternoon time frame. Then high pressure builds. This will eventually bring in drier air. Then we have another front making its way across central Florida by Tuesday. It develops across the plains and parts of the northern Gulf Coast by Monday. Let's talk about your weekend forecast at the moment. Saturday, it's an impact day. The reason why is a threat of strong and severe storms. We're not expected to see any sort of severe weather on Sunday, but do know Saturday we have that isolated severe weather threat. By 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning in our northwestern locations tomorrow morning, this is when we start to track few showers and thunderstorms working in. It is widespread rainfall across I-4 and areas north and west by 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning. This line of storms then pushes down to the southeast by 10 and 11. Then by noon, we start to dry out. I do think during this time our severe weather threat is over. However, depending on how quickly this front moves, we may see a couple of thunderstorms linger into the lunchtime hour and just after lunchtime. So just keep that in mind if you have any outdoor plans. But your Saturday evening plans outside looking fantastic. Your first warning seven day forecast on Sunday then features temperatures dropping back into the 60s. We'll be down to a 20% chance of rainfall Sunday and Monday. That next storm system moves in on Tuesday, bringing another round of showers and thunderstorms. And we are also going to be monitoring the potential of severe weather.